think the most compelling topic that we talked about, the sponsorship issue and how you accept gifts, products, brand ambassador concepts. For the bloggers, do you accept free gifts from brands? And when you receive a gift from a brand, does it ever start to feel like a bribe? Uh, I don't ever look at it as a bribe because it's sort of like you touched on relationships where if a PR person of a brand is reaching out to you and it's a good fit, that it's really just like a good start to building a, like a more of a longer term relationship with the brand. In my opinion, from a PR perspective, Gifting is rarely about, you must then cover this in a positive way. And if someone is asking you to do that, then they have an ethical issue as well. I spoke today on the Working With Brands Grossly um, panel, which we kind of described as the ethics panel here at the conference. I will always say if I've been given something, I don't think you can be credible in any way, shape or form unless you make full disclosure at every possible moment. Um, but when it is a brand that I'm interested in, then I try to, instead of getting a gift from them, then let's talk about a partnership. Let's talk about having a banner on my site and you having full transparency of this is someone I'm working with. I blogged purely as a hobby for probably two full years before I got approached to be receive gifts and things. But it's only been more recent that it's gotten even bigger and going beyond to people who have PR companies and things like that. What is your opinion on this brand ambassador concept and how does it affect one's credibility? I think more and more brands are evaluating where a brand ambassador or partnership or a sponsorship hopefully fits with their brand and can then make a next level of, of influence in what they're doing. There's a lot of power that brands have to help this form of media rise. So it's like there's one level of let's get the word out, let's get the message out. The next level is let's partner with someone, let's sponsor someone, let's work together because your audience matches ours. Most of the ambassador things come with like going to an event or getting like some kind of like backstage access or something that a lot of people normally like maybe couldn't do where you can write about it and get excited about it and your readers are excited for you because they're coming to you for a certain style and with this brand fits in your style then they're obviously going to like what you're doing. What came out of that panel was really if you stay true to yourself and you know kind of your own sense of personal integrity you, you'll be okay. You know just don't don't do anything to get ahead, to suck up to a brand, um, and don't do anything because you feel pressured. Really stay true to yourself. That was the universal message. I'm very used to working, I hope, gracefully with brands. But if you're a younger blogger and a brand comes to you and says, I want to work with you, be a brand ambassador, collaborate with us, you need to think about the value you are offering them and that you are offering them. Because if they have come to you, then they already think that you're worth something. Don't undervalue yourselves. And what was most interesting in the conversation was that it was how important of a business this has become to individuals and that it's not just a personal hobby, but how many bloggers are looking to be able to develop a career out of this. <laughs>